Hello, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. If you hear water trickling, no, it's not coming from your house or your room. It's probably coming from my bathroom over there because it's below freezing. Well, it's like gonna be negative four degrees Fahrenheit here where I live. And so we're running all the water in our faucets. Not like a lot of water, but enough so that hopefully the pipes don't freeze over, which might be overkill apparently, but I don't know. I just do what I'm told. Okay, and I know I'm gonna forget it if I don't do that now, so that's why that's doing that. But anyways, we're here with Rissa. Uh, she's not sick anymore, thank goodness. If you watched the last one, she unfortunately got the plague and the flu <laughs> uh, all at the same time. So that's not great for her. But she's back. She's back at it. Strong woman. Yeah, and we have Muffin the Muffalo and Kiriko, Kiriko the dog. So we need to research batteries at some point, but the problem with that is we just, I don't know, we just don't have a, the time at the moment. But she has other stuff she's got to do. And we only have one person, so. Okay, I had her pick up this human meat. Yeah, but like, she's not cooking it or anything, so. I'm sure I could probably like specify she should cook that, but now we have like five of these, and I'm not sure if they're gonna be poisoned or not, so. Uh, that's fine for now, I guess. Look at our little dog work. That was cute. Okay, now she's done working. Transport podcast. See, I told you. They keep sending these to us because they want us to have, like, three colonists. Defector name Ve Vegica. Vegisa, I don't know, is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. She's not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue her and hope she joins freely or capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes. Well, let's see what you're like. You're very neurotic. Mm. I don't know, she's pretty good at some of this other stuff though. I mean, we could see. We'll put it like a sleeping spot and hope she like stays with us or something. Yeah. Oh, like right there. And you can go rescue her. Asthma. That's not great. Okay, we got the ship to the stars quest. be really helpful is she has like a passion for plants like a burning burning passion and so she could like do all our planting which would be really great because that would free up Brissa to go do like all this construction stuff while someone's working on the food stuff because we need that there's a mad boom all right well we shall go deal with it and if not maybe the Turret will power on, I don't know. It's unclear. We're probably just gonna shoot this thing and not let it get near us. Don't hurt my dog though, please. Fire! Yes. Oh my gosh. Your bad shot, er I remember now. Keep shooting. Oh. There you go. 
Run away, run away, run away, you're a Yeah, that turret's powered off. Whew! Okay. Yeah, go put out that fire, please. Ooh, gosh. At least... Yeah, this is a stone wall, so hopefully it won't catch fire. Ooh, okay. I could have shot that in a better spot, probably. Let's just fast forward and see if she manages. She's probably, like, getting really hot. Oh, no, she's fine. Well, look at that. Good job. Good for you, Rissa. Wow. Oh, I'm impressed. First fight we've had <laughs> in this playthrough so far is with a mad boomalope. After a long time. Now it's like fall. <laughs> Interesting. Another buffalo! Okay. This is a male buffalo. Oh no. We're gonna have like little buffalo babies running around. I don't know. I don't know if we should or not. I mean, I guess for now we can keep it. Okay, because I don't really want to kill it, but also at the same time, like... It's gonna- that's a lot of things we need to feed. We're gonna have to, like, work on hydroponics. My game froze. My computer's been really unhappy lately. It didn't used to act like this. So we have Muffin the Muffalo. This one's a boy. What's another good name for a muffalo? I've been sitting here trying to think of other baked things that start with M. I don't know, I can't come up with anything, so we're just gonna call him Croissant. <laughs> Croissant the Muffalo. <laughs> Perfect. Glad to have you, Croissant. Croissant! And then we'll build a coffee. There you go. Probably pretty cold in there, yeah. Uh, I bet we could just turn off this. Okay, yeah, I wanted to click that. Uh, there you go, just connect it to the one that's off. A new quest has become available. A machine persona in an orbiting ship wants to perform some planetary experiments. However, if she carries out her experiment, a weather control system will force the weather around the colony to be foggy, a foggy rain for 7.8 days. She is concerned about getting in trouble with the ethical review board and is asking for your consent. Seems fine to me. Give me some stuff for that. Uh, I don't really want a great bow. There's Joy Wire, a brain implant that stimulates the brain pleasure centers. Yes, that sounds great. You can get like an animated component, which is pretty good, but if we could put this. If we get Vegi- Her name is so close to sounding um, a little bit raunchy, so... If she stays with us, we'll change it. But if she also stays with us, we could put this joy wire in. So yes. Give me the joy wire. And Jade. I guess we'll make like a statue out of it. Or trade it. <laughs> the Jade. A weather controller machine has begun affecting the weather. It's fine. We probably will need to put in a heater, though. Mm. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna need you to hold these. Hold that one for sure. <laughs> like, right now. Thank you. And you need to cook some meals. You know, as soon as uh, 
the weather or the this thing moves, which I don't know why it's not moving. Why is this? You put a. I did not tell you to put a roof up here. Like, last time, I specified where I wanted a roof. Oh well. Get rid of it. Over those walls. Dang it. It's because I said she needed to build wall walls here. Don't, don't build walls here. Oh wait, no, I didn't tell her to build walls there. That was just the plan to build walls there. That's my bad. Look, just forget about it. It's not a problem anymore. Okay. And please go remove that so our windmill will work. It should work. This weather is, yeah, there we go. Good, perfect. And I need you to cook <laughs> instead of build at the moment because you're out of mills. all our little muffalo running around. Like really nervous she's gonna make another bad meal, especially because this is like just on dirt. So I don't really want her to like cook a lot at one time, especially because like we don't have our freezer up and running yet and the rice keeps longer than like a cooked meal. But we can make a few of them, at least, because we've got a lot of people to feed. Or beings to feed. Yeah, we'll just reconnect that, and you're done. Good job. Mm. Yes, rare thrombos. Let's look at the thrombos. Bye, thrombos. I'm not killing you. I refuse. Oh, that's kind of cute. They're hanging out near us. <laughs> Something just got killed. It was probably by this, like, lynx over here. Yeah. Here, I'll slow down so we can look around. We're gonna want to haul all of those out. See, I'm thinking about how I want to handle this. So... Uh, she'll probably go deal with her in a minute. I think she's getting her recreation in. Yeah, it's kind of cold right now. And this stuff is tainted, which will make her unhappy. So we'll not force her to wear it yet. Put in like a heater. As soon as you're done, Rissa, that'd be great. And I'd like you to work on the heater instead. It's not too bad. It's kind of cold. Kind of chilly. There we go. That'll help in that room. So she can at least go hang out in there if she gets cold. And let's see how she's doing. She is... Doing fine, I guess. Yeah. And if she does join the colony with her asthma, I think we're gonna set it to where she doesn't use like our actual medication. Not because like if she actually gets hurt, I don't want her to use it. Cause she does get hurt, then we'll have her use it. But for the asthma, you have to like treat it every now and then and I don't want to waste medication on that. Uh, we got a sandstone meteorite down here in that corner. Cool. It's gonna take her forever to build that that steel tile, but it will be good for a kitchen situation and hopefully like help with the food poisoning and stuff. Oh, look, they muffin and croissant are making little, little mini muffins. Little, that's a tiny pastry. Little tiny cookies with each other, little biscuits, in the oven. <laughs> I'm just 
sometimes I crack myself up. <laughs> He's just walking around. Okay. rather she just make this cooler first because it's bothering me that this freezer isn't working. Now we just have a hole in the wall though. Hey, you did it. Good job. Now she's going to sleep. We still have to build all the co power conduits to it so it'll work. Okay, yeah, that thing's totally gonna wrap before we can get to it. Well, maybe I can make her go prioritize for doing that. Get to it before it rots. Woohoo! She did it! Yay, good job! Yay, Rimmold's logic is great. <laughs> And I'm gonna need you to work on these power conduits. Another transport pod crash. An evangelist named Sexton is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. Sexton is from Southern Venice. If you rescue her, she may join freely. Otherwise, she will return home and spread goodwill between your factions. Uh, let's see. We probably will rescue her because the goodwill would be nice. Oh, she's bandaging herself. Wow. Hey, we'll need to build a copy <laughs> right next to our animals and the other sick person. Ooh, she is not gonna like going out in this weather. Oh, she left. Never mind. She didn't need us. She went bye. Okay, well, that kind of sucked that we did not get that, uh, that goodwill. But oh well. She dealt with it herself. Yay. Okay. And I'm gonna set this low. There we go. So it will freeze. All that stuff. There we go, now it's frozen. Yay! I thought that was a little rat for a second, that Kriko was a, a rat that was like pulling stuff for us. And I was like, that doesn't make sense, but it makes more sense now. Uh, we could put this stealer in over here, so that makes the room prettier. I didn't even realize our dog has probably been like hauling that stuff for us, yeah. Good girl. Also, get rid of the roof right there, please. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna have her prioritize growing for a bit. So we have food. It's in the works. Actually, it'll probably be easier just to lower the construction to this. Because then she'll do growing and plant cutting both. Which I want her to do because I want her to harvest all these berries. Uh, solar flow has begun and intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. It should pass in about a day. We'll be fine. Well, she's gonna get upset she's probably gonna eat like raw rice, but. Oh, you know what you could do, Rissa? Go harvest these berry bushes, because you won't- I don't think they get as upset if they eat that raw. I don't know, though. Okay. There we go. See? Eat some berries. Aren't you happy? 
And now I don't know where you are. And there's a manhunter pack, so... A pack of manhunting ducks have entered the area, driven insane by the disease known as... I don't know how to pronounce this ever, Scria. They will roam the region, hunting for humanoid flesh. They want to attack doors unless they see someone go through the door. Hide inside and you'll be safe. They also want to attack powered off turrets, so you're turning your turrets off to save them. The ducks will leave the area in one or two days. You can hide and wait them out, or fight them. We're probably just gonna wait them out. How close are they? Up here? Wait, what? It's only like two ducks. Okay, look, we probably could take them, but like, there's not even a point in like risking it, right? We have food. We're just waiting for the power to come back on in like about a day. So let's set this up. Let's do. Yeah, we can expand safety now because this, um, we have all of this now. It's indoors. Like so. Here we go. And now we'll make everyone hang out in safety. And we'll disconnect this. There we go. Hopefully they don't attack like the rare thrombos. And we can just go ahead and disallow these doors and that that they for sure will be stuck inside. There. Also she'll get work done inside, so that's pretty that's fine. <laughs> she just fed raw meat. I just realized that. The our um person that we're trying to keep safe. I need you to prioritize cleaning and making some meals. Look at those ducks are Honking angrily. I'm gonna make cook a two now. Saving Jason. P Pateria, high stellar of the Exodus Empire, says that her friend has been wounded while traveling. The victim is Jason, a 42-year-old drifter. Pateria has nobody to spare to rescue Jason, but says that if you can make it to Jason's position and rescue him, he will join you. Pateria says there may be an unknown threat. Um, probably not gonna do it, just cause that's... It's probably not super hard, but like... I feel like we have our hands full enough at the moment. In terms of like... Mouths were feeding and like people we have because we're hoping she joins us. That I don't necessarily want to take a ne necessary risk to get someone that we don't know their information about. So, sorry, Jason. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. Ooh, I forgot to put in the dead power conduit. Let me do that. Just put it like underneath that door. Okay, and then I reconnect it. Now she won't cook because she doesn't have a spot to cook. It's great. Yay! See, she got, she got food poisoning. 37 year old war chief named Val is calling for nearby. He says a pack of two man hunting snow hares are after him. He 
It begs you for safety and offers to join you at the colony. If you accept Val, the manhunting snowers will fall around in one arrow. Val is too frantic for more information. Don't really care. A caravan from Southern Venice is approaching. They are a combat supplier. Uh, the ducks are going to attack them. Now we don't have to deal with the ducks. They have to deal with the ducks. And actually, you know what would be a really cheesy? Well, except it for Val. And make the combat suppliers fight the snow hares. Excellent. Probably not going to be good for our relations with them, but it's fine. It's fine. You staying or are you leaving? Guess she's leaving. Hope those ducks don't get ya. Yeah, see? Got them ducks or bunnies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there is a lot going on with you. You can't clean, you can't haul, and you can't do plant work. Um, you can shoot and attack and research. And hang with the animals. Uh, you're physically hypersensitive. And you're a psychopath with bloodlust. I don't know. I don't know about all this. I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how far he gets. If he dies, it's just more meals for Rissa. Mm, yeah, I don't think you're gonna make it, buddy. You're moving way too slowly. The snow hairs, yeah, they're gonna get you. It's gonna die to some snow hairs. Run, Belle! Doesn't help that you're, like, naked. Really wish we could fast forward right now. This is so slow. Also, like, where are you going? Yeah, no, I'm not coming to get you. Bye, Val. What kind of gear did you have? Just pants. Disappointing. Whoa. Guess that was lightning, probably. Oh, did they kill our ducks? I think they did. They killed the ducks. Yay, thank you. Now we can eat them. Yay. Where's the second duck? I can't even see where the other duck is that we just clicked. Oh, we're on it. Did they not kill the other duck? I don't know. You guys can go in the animal zone now and uh, we'll just unrestrict her. And hopefully that duck doesn't sneak attack us. We should go trade with him. Oh, see, they got the other duck. They got the snow hares. People are dying. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Val thinks you should give up or should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Oh, Val thinks so, huh? He's all the way over there, dying. Faker's campsite. I agree. That's good. I like it. I didn't pick that. That's just what it came up with. That's a good name. Look at all this free stuff we get. Okay. Let us see. 
Oh, they'll buy this for $22. Sorry. Ooh, I want the chain shotgun. You can have the pistol in return for that. Ooh, flak jacket would be good. Whoa! What if we get this stuff? We cannot afford all that stuff. Okay, well, what if we don't take the shotgun? Okay, for sure it's this. Would we do that? Yeah, it's still no. Okay, we can't get this really cool armor, even though I really want to. <laughs> oh wait, but I had the flak jacket there too. Yeah, we... Uh, I don't think we can do it. Well, we will take the chain shotgun. You can have the auto pistol. That's fine. What else? I kind of want the helmet, because that would be nice. A shield belt. Ooh, that would be good. Okay, so. Shield belt would be nice too. Mm. How much gold until this evens out? <laughs> like, not even all of it. Ooh. I want this stuff so bad. Okay, we won't get the recon helmet. We can afford the flak jacket, and the chain shotgun. Sounds good. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got all this free stuff from your buddy. So, we'll just... What does she have on her? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to take advantage of this situation first. And, uh... Let's see, can we sell it back to them? <laughs> I think we need to, like, call it. Let's see. Yeah, pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick it up. Pick it up. And pick up the fine snow here too while you're at it. Yeah, I don't care about Val. I know she's at a minor break risk. She's about to be a little happy because she ain't without a table. Nope. Nope. What are you doing? Stop that. Oh my gosh. I have to like order her to go do this stuff. Thank you. And go pick up the rest of your stuff. Wear that instead. At least it's not like tainted. Go chill. Go take care of yourself. Actually, while you're out here, see if you can trade that stuff we just got. Mm. <laughs> I just threw up near him. Hey, can you stop running away? Thank you. Let's see. It 
it's on her person, so I guess we can't trade it. That or they don't want it. Uh, oh well. Get the duck. And there's an ambrosia sprout nearby. You know what would be fun is opening up this wall while all the people are here. Just so we can see what's inside and like get this stuff and have other people deal with it. But she's like about to have a break, so we'll let her go take care of herself. Fire! Okay, it got put out because of the rain. Colonists died. There's colonists left unburied. I don't care. I don't think she cares either. Just that it, it they died. Okay, maybe don't eat those meals you cooked since they're bad. Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna go butcher the duck, huh? Okay, clean the dirt and animal filth before you cook. I could see why that made you sick. Oh, she's still vomiting, but she's moving very quick. Uh. Okay, go take care of yourself. She's freaking out. She rubbed her nose against Risa's shoulder. How sweet. Uh, let's see what that quest was. Gal Galnusos Laskosmet, a royal guard, is calling from nearby. He has deserted the army of the Exodus Empire, is being hunted by a loyalty squad. He wishes to join you at the Baker's campsite. Galnusos knows the location of key outposts containing. Uh, let me just pause this while we're reading this. Everything needed to develop psychic powers. Silent, silent neuroformer. Silent neuroformer. So both of them, I guess. Beware, if you accept Galnosos, you will become an enemy of the Exodus Empire. The pursuing loyalty squad will attack immediately. It is composed of one trooper. Only accept if you wish to fight against the Exodus Empire and develop your sidecasters on your own. You will have one year to attack the outpost before it is moved. I don't think I've ever gone against the Exodus Empire. Sounds kind of cool, though. I'm really thinking. So the Exodus Empire, they're a faction in the world. Let me show you. Okay, I just wanted to look at the factions. There we go. Yeah, see? We're neutral with them right now. And they're enemies of these people. And we're only neutral with these two. And then everyone else hates us. An ultra-tech refugee society from another planet organized along feudal lines. They live for thousands of years in a stable multi-planet empire with a strict caste system, an intricate code of warrior ethics, and enforced cultural stasis. Invaded by powerful outsiders, they fled. Despite losing almost all of their people, their fleet and technology still make them powerful. They will refuse to trade with anyone who lacks the appropriate royal title. Uh... Okay. I... <laughs> I think it's dumb to go against them, but do you know what? I really want to go against them because I think this sounds really cool. And we need a guy, so. A royal guard named Galnosis has arrived and is joining the colony. Because you accepted Galnosis, the ex Exodus Empire has become hostile. The loyalty squad that is hunting him will arrive soon. And uh, let's see what the they think of us now. <laughs> Negative 75. 
That was pretty steep. That went from like zero to negative 75. <laughs> and I think if you capture and release prisoners and stuff, that only gets you like plus five or ten, something like that. So let's see if you were worth it. Can't do animals or plant work. He's okay. He's decent. Okay. His childhood was as a ship boy. Uh, Galnesis was born to low-ranked servants on an ancient starship. The ship's machine persona was like a third parent to him, and the parents' crafting crew he worked for was like a second family. Galnesis really saw plants or animals and still finds them unnerving to touch. Okay. In adulthood, he was a royal guard. Um... Yeah, that makes sense, because he's a deserter. So, he's really good at melee. He's fine at shooting. Um, he can mine okay. He can handle animals and crafting. <coughs> and warden. At least this will help free a princess so she can do some stuff. And, they're around the same age, so they can make each other happy. Aw, how sweet. Yeah, you should probably, like, lug it over here. And he has an assault rifle. Cool. Just gonna go ahead and draft you and tell you to come here. You start off down there. The royal guard is coming, so we'll have to deal with it. So we'll need to reconnect this. Uh, they're attacking immediately. It should be like one. Yeah, he has a gun though. I don't think we got a helmet for Rissa. Okay, let's see if this is any better than our shotgun. She's holding the shotgun. Oh yeah, she's holding all this stuff. Okay, I feel like Galnesis should probably have the shotgun. Since he's also good at melee, but I don't know. Okay, Rissa, you really don't need to worry about that right now. Why don't you just like come chill in here? And you could just go that way. And let's make our animals stay inside so they don't get all like butchered. I don't think the our muffalo trained to attack. They can guard. Okay, the muffalos can defend us. So can the dog. I'd rather they didn't die, but Apparently they can do stuff. Okay. I would like you to drop this. And then we will have you equip the chain shotgun. Okay, you come out over here. What's his range? Ooh, okay. You're in range. In a way. Up there. Okay, come back down. <laughs> this is dumb. Ooh, he shot wide. Okay. You better aim well. Oh my gosh. Just run away, because I forgot I have to make him shoot, apparently. Okay. It's on the move again. I don't deal with combat well in this game, if you can tell. Rissa! I don't think she's very good at- yeah, she's not very good at shooting. Okay. I'm gonna need you to shoot him. Okay, run away! <laughs> Running. Don't stop moving. He's so fast. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. I'm so stressed out. You fire at him. Oh my gosh, please get into position. How did you miss? I'm gonna keep him there because I think he might. This makes me nervous. How are you missing? Yeah, you're within range. I don't know why you're missing. Okay. I'll have her move up closer so she, like, actually hits him. Apparently, he can't hit, like, the broad side of a barn. He's as good as Rissa is, which means he's bad. And he's bleeding out. Ooh, headshot. With the shotgun. Yeah, you did not last long. And I don't think anyone got hurt. Yeah, she only has a old gunshot. What is this? A death acidifier. He didn't get hurt either, I don't think. A chest implant for preventing enemy use of captured equipment. Upon the user's death, it releases powerful chemicals that dissolve gear in contact with the user's body. It doesn't damage others. Oh. Interesting. Pretty interesting, I guess. Oh, that's what happened to him, I guess. Yeah, I didn't know they had that. His right leg was shot off from the shotgun. Ouch. He has chemical burns from the death acidifier, I think. Uh, he got shot in the jaw. Yeah, you did a... Not have a good time. Let me just... I'm just gonna forbid these for now. While that chemical stuff is right there, because I don't want them to like risk getting hurt. And I can undraft you. Wow, welcome Galnissos to the colony. It's so great to have you at Baker's campsite. And I see now that we can allow these because he's done being an acid -y boy. And he's a psychopath, so he won't even care that Riss is a cannibal. Great, great development all around. And I think I'm gonna end it here, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>